the life. Mm, thank my friend Viv. Tough lad. Well, here's to Viv, <clears throat> whoever she is. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I thought I knew something about all this. I don't know how I'll ever go back to the Reggies and the Ronnies of my usual set. I don't bother to get back to them at all. Oh, how often am I going to see you, darling? Pretty often, I'd say. <laughs> when you get your money. Yes, that's right. I can do anything and everything with you. Hunting with the corn, Ascot, Henley. Shooting in Scotland in August. Can you really see yourself doing all that, darling? It costs an awful lot of money to live that way. I don't notice it because I don't need to. The money's always been there. Lucky old you. Mm, I suppose so. But I couldn't live any other way. I just couldn't. You see, darling, I'm too used to it by now. You're yeah, just a sort of fling. No. No, but Ralph, listen. In a way, my life is all set out for me. I can play around a bit now, but sooner or later I'm expected to marry somebody of my own type. Somebody rich? Yes. Well... Well, it'll be a sort of arranged marriage. Money and land marries money and land in my world. So I, I would be able to lead my own life in a sort of way. I might even be able to see you like this from time to time. As your gigolo, you mean? <laughs> Hardly, darling. I don't suppose you'd ever let me pay you, would you? Don't talk to me like that. Ever. And don't you do that ever again, or I go out of that door for good. Then go. I'm sorry, darling, I keep forgetting. You aren't a gentleman, are you, Ralph? You want to be one, God knows why they're all so utterly bloody boring, but you just aren't one, are you? I've never been frightened by anybody before. Um, I'm, I'm going to a crowd of people in, in France in a couple of weeks. If you have your money by then, why not come with me? It would be lovely if you could, really. Don't worry. I'll have the money. Mm -hmm.